Hi uh, everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. It's Friday. You guys know what that means. It's time for the weekend top and bottom of the deck reading. Super exciting. This will be the last reading of the week. I will see you guys after this, Sunday night or Monday morning. Depending on... I don't know what my schedule is going to be. I'm being perfectly honest with you. So <laughs> Everything is all up in the air right now. As far as my work schedule goes, there may or may not be some very abrupt changes going on. So, you could be seeing more of me if things go the way I would like them to go, at least for the summer. So, anyway, enough about that. We do this by the elements, for those of you who are new here. It is Gemini season. Gemini is an air element. It goes air, water, fire, earth, going around the wheel. It applies just like any old regular general zodiac sign reading. If it resonates with you, cool. If it doesn't resonate, take it or leave it. Check your moon rising, your Venus sign readings. Just in case, time and energy are both fluid, all things can and maybe vice versa. And if you do not know where your zodiac sign falls as far as the elements go, I will shout them out at the beginning. Either way, it is up to you what you do with the information given to you by the cards. I just read them. I'm not telling anybody how to live. That's not what I do. It's not my job. We're just having a good time. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Knight of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Man. Okay. Some of you may be concentrating... Um, more on money than on love at this point or you want the whole package you want commitment maybe a little both that's how i'm seeing that okay let's get it going <laughs> And the match is striking for forward movement on the path you're supposed to be on. But, might be a little bit of an obstacle. You see this uh, little lizard dude in the path here? He's not sure if he wants to follow the cat, because the little lizard dude's there. So, but you're emotionally good. You're on the path, possibly a, a little bit of an obstruction. Hmm, okay. That's where you were in the past. Let's fast forward a little bit. Current right now, maybe a tad a bit in the future. Maybe a little while ago. Present is fluid after all. Ten of Wands and the Hanged Man. Two of Wands, sorry. Two of Wands and the Hanged Man. Oh gosh. Put your freaking glasses on, woman. Okay. Hmm. Possibly a little bit of emotional hang up. Still clinging to that wand of the past. There's that damn salamander again. See him? You see him? There's an obstruction here. There's something holding you back from where you're supposed to go. You may be a little bit emotionally hung up. Well, wow. okay. Oh boy. Hmm. Well, air signs. I don't even think I need to clarify this. I think this is pretty cut and dry. Judgment reversed and the King of Pentacles reversed.
Nope, I need to clarify. Why is judgment reversed here? Just when I think I don't need to clarify. Why is judgment reversed here? Hi. Eight of cups. Mm -hmm. You want the package, but I don't think you're taking it. I think you're moving on. Why is the King of Pentacles reversed here? Ace of Wands. New path, new direction. No salamander. Okay, well, air signs, tell me if it resonates because, wow, that's a tough call. I don't know if I'd be able to make that one. I don't know. Let's get some advice for you. <laughs> and the universe goes and makes it worse, okay? The hermit reverse and the lovers. The lovers is in the upright. Don't isolate yourself from this connection altogether because this is a powerful connection. A couple more. Nine of Swords reversed and the Five of Cups in the reverse. Don't overthink this. Don't let this consume you or make you all crazy. And don't let this bring you into a state of sadness. Because there's still two Cups of Blessing is here. I don't think the Cups are spilled. You're just getting ready to go on a new path. Some of you may be taking the offer and going on a direction that way. Who is to say what path you're supposed to be on? It's not my fucking journey. Okay. Air signs, that's what I have for you. Water. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do the cards have for you this weekend? It's not my fucking dirty. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Take the offer. Don't take the offer. Walk the path. Stray off somewhere else. It's not my journey, guys. Do what you're going to do. <laughs> I don't believe in wrong paths. I don't. I believe all paths lead to the same place. It's what I firmly believe. It's just the means to which you use to get there. You know what I'm saying? All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Six of Cups reversed, Three of Swords reversed. Oh, boy. Bad memories of the person from your past and you ain't heartbroken about something. Okay. What are we not heartbroken about in the past? Four of Swords reversed in the tower. There was restless energy. Something collapsed or imploded. And however you want to take it, however it resonates for you, something just straight up did not work out due to a sudden and abrupt change. Something went wonky. Long or the short of it. Okay. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Ten of Cups in the reverse for the more present energy. Could have been a little bit ago. Could be what's about to happen. Like before this weekend actually hits. It's... <sighs> lack of confidence. Lack of happiness. Possibly a little bit of codependency. Maybe on your part or theirs. 
The only real sign I have on the board at this point is Scorpio. So, a little water, a little air, a little earth. The only, the only sign you're not dealing with yet is fire. So, but that could change any second. And you know, if if it's ringing a bell, if it's not. It's my, not my journey. Lack of happiness, lack of emotional fulfillment, and something didn't work out. You're not sure of yourself anymore. This knocked you, knocked you off, knocked your socks off. Okay, well, what's coming in for this weekend? That's good news. Eight of Swords in the Reverse and Temperance. Okay, you're coming out of it. You're not sad. You're not opening your thoughts about it. You're not restless anymore. Energy flows are starting to come back to where they're supposed to go. That's cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Maybe the energies are going to realign with this person from the past. Who knows? Do we want to find out? We want to find out, don't we? Okay, fine. All right. Wise temperance here. I'll give you a little bit. I'll give you a little bit. Wise temperance here. Oh, where'd we go? Where'd we go? What'd we do? Page of cups. <laughs> That's an unexpected message. That's an unexpected text message, voicemail, phone call, email, love note, whatever. I don't think it's coming in out of nowhere, though. Okay. One more on that. Just one. Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords. A message coming in to, I don't know, possibly one last chance, one last, tr one last try. <laughs> if I can make words work right now. I've been up since 5.30 this morning. It is now 12.54 in the afternoon, and I have to go work a 10-hour shift at my job. This is going to be fun, because I only slept for like three and a half hours. Anyway. <sighs> Something's coming in to end a painful cycle. Put your mind at ease. Okay. What's your advice? Queen of Cups in the reverse, Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, closing yourself off to this is only going to lead to further emotional juggling. And you're going to suck yourself right back into that state of restlessness if you don't deal with this. The King of Wands in the reverse and the Moon in the reverse. If they don't come back with truth, if part of this little message, this little do-over, this little closing out of this cycle isn't the absolute truth, you best be putting a stop to that shit. Don't even go there. That's just what the cards are saying, water signs. Alright. That was fun. Good positive energy for everybody so far. Kind of, sort of, you know. I think all things are positive. I can find sunshine in the shittiest reading. I'm just saying. Fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What's coming in for you guys this weekend? You guys remember that witch's tarot deck I ordered like... I don't know, month, month and a half ago. You know, I still haven't gotten it. I don't know what the heck is up with that. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Somebody asked about it. So. I ordered it on Wish. I don't know what the deal is. I really don't. I usually don't have to wait a month and a half for things I order off Wish. That's really weird. But, yeah, times are tough. World's gone crazy. Okay. 
Mm, two of Pentacles and the Magician. Maybe another area you're dealing with, possibly an Earth sign. Fire signs. Be very careful this weekend. Don't speak or think something into being. Just be aware. Watch what comes into your head and comes out of your mouth. Because it may just happen. And it's super weird when that does happen. I, I should know. I, I can testify to that. Super weird. Possibly some emotional juggling or things just not adding up this weekend. Things not being equal or even. Okay. In the past, Six of Wands in the reverse, Four of Pentacles. Yeah. Shitty deal. Not so victorious moment. Something knocked the wind out of you. I'm hearing no return after the battle, so possibly an argument, just kind of, th there was no glorious moment after that. The sunshine's coming, just give me a second. You harbored some feelings and emotions with this Four of Pentacles. <sighs> Seven of Cups, lovers reversed, oh boy, and this is where it is. Here and now. A little bit ago, a little while from now, take it off, it resonates, if it resonates. Confusion. Confusion regarding a connection that was not equal. Hmm. Told you the sunshine was coming. You're coming out of a state of sadness about it anyway, and you're not going to do a damn thing about it. This is where we get clarity. You're not moving. You are not moving. You are not changing your mind. You are not talking to this person. Nothing. Hmm. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here? Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here? Confusion. Not filling cups with the right things. No coming back together. No stability. One more. The Nine of Cups also indicates um, having a little bit too much fun. Hmm. You might run into them at the bar and have a little bit too much fun. Things get confused. Seven of Pentacles, all of a sudden something you waited for might start fruiting again. There's confusion. Why is the lovers reversed here? Hmm. Things opening back up. You're going to see somebody you haven't seen in a while, maybe. Two of Swords reversed. You might have to make a difficult decision what you're going to do with that. Hmm. That tree I cut down that's laying in the backyard. And it's got buds on it. What the fuck? Maybe I shouldn't have cut the tree down after all. I thought it was dead. And yeah, one of those. One of those. I grew up around the trees and in the woods and stuff, so I relate to plants a lot. I don't know why. Alright, why is the page of wands here? Why is the page of wands reversed here?
Four of Swords reversed. The High Priestess reversed. Oh boy. Your ego may run away with you. Mm -hmm. Might get a little fired up over this. You're not doing anything about it. You're not going anywhere with it. But it's going to fire you up. You're not sad about it. You're not heartbroken. You're just a little fired up. Things are... unstable, uneven. Things aren't flowing properly. You're juggling emotionally. Be careful what comes out of your mouth this weekend or who or what pops into your head because you very well could run into them. So don't manifest anything you don't want, fire signs, because it's coming for you. That's your warning. Let's get some advice. The Three of Wands reversed and the King of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Yes, you waited a very long time. You got sick of waiting for whatever this was. If you bump into them, don't get a shitty attitude. Don't, don't be an asshole. Okay? Just don't let your emotions run away with you. Keep ahead about you, okay? Keep ahead about you. The Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Mm -hmm. Don't go into anything without all possible information. And make sure it's correct information, not what you might see on social media, things of that nature. All right, Fire Signs, that's what we have for you this weekend. Let's get my earth signs out. Wow, this is going good. I should do this on three hours of sleep more often. No, I shouldn't. No, don't even think that. I'm, I'm going to be one tired little girl by about midnight, one o'clock in the morning when I walk through my front door and just pass out right there on the living room floor. I'm about three hours away from slap happy tired. I know myself. And I'm making you guys seasick. I'm sorry. Scoot that back a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Bear with me. One more. Three of Wands in reverse in the Fool. You've come to a point where you're sick of waiting at the dock for the ship to come in, and you're just going to go off and do something new. That's fucking amazing, Earth Signs. I'm proud of you. It's a new day. Alright. In the past, we have an Ace of Pentacles and we have a Ten of Swords in the reverse. Something new and abundant with potential came to sprout. However, I'm getting a feeling that something old didn't close out beforehand. So, you may have overlapped chapters a little bit. Sun wasn't shining, was it? It's very hard to walk into a new relationship when you're still carrying the emotional baggage from an old one. That's where the blame game comes in. Just throwing that out there. It's when you see red flags that don't exist. 
High Priestess in the upright and the Five of Swords in reverse. Your intuition is on point. The pieces. Beautiful, wonderful connection. Like 5D stuff. Yeah. Like soulmate. But there's still pieces left behind from something else. This may be someone not wanting to wait around for you, Earth Signs, and wanting to go off and do something new. Maybe that's your warning. Good possibility. Okay. Well, cross watcher, damn it, I'm proud of you too. Mm. But, mm. keep going. This weekend, the Prince of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Wands in the upright. Okay. Why is the Prince of Cups reversed here? I thought it wanted to talk. No, it didn't want to talk. Are you going to fly out of my deck? Or do I have to pick one? Come on, say what you're going to say. Can you tell I'm slap happy fucking tired? Oh shit. The devil. The devil. Powerful connection. Almost toxic. This is like cement shoes kind of shit. Earth signs, you may have a powerful connection with someone else that is inhibiting you from moving on. Just because you have two hands doesn't mean you can hold two cups, and I think the other person knows that. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Oh, could be a fire sign you're dealing with, possibly an Aries. Could be a Leo. I got a little bit of everybody on the board. I have Taurus. I have Capricorn. A little bit of air, a little bit of earth, a little bit of water. I got a little bit of everybody. Specifically, though, the fire signs all of a sudden started sticking out at me. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Oh, thank you. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Something that doesn't close out that might be coming back to haunt you. Can it really come back to haunt you if it never left you? I think this Queen of Wands is fire under your ass. It's the sudden realization that if I'm going to move forward, I need to move on. All right, let's get your advice, Earth Suns. Ace of Wands and the King of Swords, yes. It is time to strike a match. It is time to have a new start with new things that you are passionate about. It is time for the move forward. King, the King of Swords said so. And he made a logical, non-emotional decision. 
I think it may be time for you to do the same thing. It can be very hard to let someone go. Sometimes you have to. You gotta close the cycle out to let the sun shine again. The world in the reverse and the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. You are not going to stop time if you keep holding on to this. You're only going to keep jumping on the merry-go-round time after time after time again, waiting for something to work out. And it can't. I'm going to be quite frank when I say this, and it was a hard lesson for me to learn when I had to learn it. Nobody wants to be with an unhappy person. I shouldn't say nobody. Some people thrive on that, but... You have to let go. If you want the damn sun to shine again. It's time to go on a new path, Earth Signs. Because the boat's not going to be at the dock forever. Or at very least, the person waiting at the dock to jump on the boat with you isn't going to be there forever. Okay, that's what I have for you guys. My friends, be blessed. Have a good weekend. Take some time out for you. It's important. Love you to bits. I'll see you Monday. Well, Sunday night, Monday morning. We'll see. Schedule changes, crazy schedule changes possibly coming up for me. You might see more of me, you might see less. Let me know what happens. See you next week. Are you going to shut off or what?